deal in the Jefferson Wyatt contract with a sizable commission, of course. And Mr. Allman, the vice president, asked me to go golfing with them on Saturday. Golf? Pat, my golf clubs. Where are my golf clubs? Were they still in the station wagon? Sure. I think your husband's about to be promoted. That's wonderful. That's terrible. Wonderful, isn't it? Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Speaking of something wonderful, how's my mother to be? Do you have any pains yet? You know, Pam, sometimes you give me real pains in the... Not yet, but she has been kicking a lot today. Come here. Let me see if I can feel him kicking around. Ooh, you're getting heavy. Well, it's not entirely my fault I'm so heavy. Don't blame me! I wasn't the one who wanted to park by the river. I'm just teasing you. If you had just used the emergency brake, none of this would have happened. <laughs> What do you suppose little Johnny will want to come out? You think he'd get awfully tired of being cooped up in there, wouldn't you? Rebecca is not a Johnny. All right, Rebecca. You didn't answer my question. I don't know how they'll get it out. Maybe they'll use a crane. He, she is about a week over you now, isn't she? Maybe they'll leave it in there. <laughs> Patience, dear. Rebecca will come when she gets good and ready. Besides, I saw Dr. Gilbert this morning, and he says everything's fine. He says it's not unusual, unusual to you or to me. Sit it. So don't worry about it! The important thing is that you get in touch with the insurance agent. Do you have his home phone number? Ugh. Okay, we'll try the talk to her in my desk. Ooh, what's yes, this? Custard pudding. Turn it all in. Cutter. Custard. I know, but Bernard does. Bernard? Who's Bernard? Gladys' his boyfriend, of course. Oh, of course. Wait. Is that husband hunting sister of yours bringing another guy over tonight? Husband hunting? Well, sorry, I guess. Well, I'll withdraw that. She's coming over? Yes, we invited him over last week, remember? You did? Yes, well, maybe I did. But I didn't tell you about it, didn't I? I didn't tell you about it, did I? You don't mind, do you, Alex? I don't want your sister coming over. It's those weird boyfriends of hers that can't see me. The boyfriends aren't weird. <laughs> oh, no? What about the political science man? Do you remember him? I spent all, uh, remember him? He spent all night trying to convince me that Mickey Mouse was a Republican. The guy was crazy. I spent all night trying to <laughs> What to do you mean that you couldn't find the number? I distinctly remember it. Shut Anyways, isn't Bernard the crackpot who thinks he's an inventor? Bernard is a very nice boy and Gladys likes him. So be nice when he gets here, alright? For Gladys' sake. Oh, well, alright. I hereby declare that I will not laugh at Bernard when he explains to me how another one of his revolutionary inventions is going to revolutionize the world. I'll just check on another. Oh, you. You. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> when do you suppose uh, Johnny will want Probably not for a couple of hours yet. Why don't you read the paper and I'll fix you a sandwich and a glass of milk to tide you over, okay? <laughs> Well, if 
anybody home? <laughs> I think your door's open. Hold on, why's it coming Hi, sis. Uh, where's Bernard? Right here. Come on, will you? Bernie, <laughs> you remember. You remember how it's in Sharon, don't you? Of course it does. Nice to see you again, Bernard. Alright, take your coats. <laughs> yes, thank you. It's a little warm for coats, but it looks like it can start raining any second. Oh. How are your coat? Uh, oh, uh. Thank you. I still can't get over how nice and comfortable this place seems. <laughs> Actually, we have put quite a bit of work into the house. Alex is really quite good with his hands and is always spending weekends with me around the house. Nah, not too much, you know. A dab of paint here, a nail there. Not much to do when the house is bubble to begin with. <laughs> Would anyone care for coffee? Yes, thank you. <laughs> can I help? No, no, I can get it. Bernard, your hair's black, don't you? I thought so. I won't wear that in a minute. Well, Bernard, let's do. Oh, uh, um, uh, Bernard? Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> of course you do. But what? When do you expect to finish? The, the invention. Oh, invention? Well, uh, oh, in a couple of days. Just what is this new invention? Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, let me tell him, Bernie. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, let me tell him. Bernie has invented the first electric bar of soap. No. Yes. Isn't that exciting? Imagine, no longer does a person have to work feverishly rubbing a bar of soap between their hands to fill up a lather. With Bernie's new electric bar of soap, you just plug it in, hold on to the bar, and it does all the work. In a matter of seconds, you're, you have your hands full of nice, fresh lather. <laughs> have you sold it to anyone? Well, he doesn't want to sell it quite yet. He wants to get a couple of little bugs out of it first. Bugs? Yes, well, you see, it sometimes gives off a little shock, uh, but only when it gets wet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it sometimes can be a little hard to unplug when your hands are full of leather. But Bernie will have perfected it. Don't have it all. Won't you, Bernie? I will. Yeah, I, I will. No time at all. Here we are. Help yourselves, won't you? Thank you. Try the fudge bars. They're a new recipe. <laughs> Thank you, but I can. I'm on a diet. They do look tempting, though. Diet? Why should you be on a diet? Oh, because uh, I'm. Uh, I just have to watch my weight. That's all. <laughs> Sharon, you better come sit down. You don't want to overdo it. Alex is right, Sharon. You shouldn't be on your feet too much in your condition. Why don't you pull up a, a, a chair and? <laughs> I'll just join you folks on the sofa. As you can see, I'm a little short on chairs. Hey, where's your cup? Here. Take this one. Bernard, would you care for a fudge bar? Have you announced out of the name for the baby yet? Johnny. Rebecca. Jeez. Lester? Mom. Good God. Gladys. Gladys. Gladys, you're going to name her Rebecca. What? You're going to name her Rebecca. Oh, what if it's a boy? That's the thing. Sharon has decided that she's not going to be. Sharon has decided that she is going to be a she, even if she is not a she. What? How's the coffee? Fine, thank you. Um, how do I drink it black? Do you have any cream? Tastes great. <laughs> <laughs> Just think. Any day now, I'm going to be an aunt. I just love children. Don't you, Bernie? You, uh... Hey, wait! This is cooling! Uh, sure, I like this. <laughs> you know, Bernie, I often wondered what it would be like to have children on my own. 
Have you ever thought about that? You know, this is great. <laughs> oh, you haven't thought about what? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't thought about it very much. Well, I have. I think it would be kind of nice to be a mother and to have a home and a family. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have children of your own? I know what it's like. I have six little bastard. <laughs> you haven't thought about what? Oh, uh, i too busy with my stuff. What was my name? <laughs> I've been too busy with my inventions. Well, Gladys, I'm sure someday you'll have a family of, of your own. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, please forgive me, it's just that... Oh, Sharon, can I talk to you alone, please? Of course. Why don't we go into the kitchen? I'll be with you in a minute, all right? Alex, can I speak to you in private? Alex, Gladys, it's Esper G. Esper G? Oh, from the other end of home. Yeah, you heard her questioning Bernard about children and family life? It's been a lot of advice, remember? Yeah, could this all be a coincidence? What about the diet she's on? You saw that she burst into tears when you said she'd have children of her own one day. Right now, my poor sister's in the kitchen crying her heart out because she's pregnant and is afraid to tell Bernard. Look, what do you want me to do about it? She's your sister. You have to have a man-to-man -man talk with Bernard. You have to tell him that he should do the right thing and ask Gladys to marry him. I won't do it. You have to do it. No. Alex, you do love me, don't you? I do, but I'm not going to interfere with their affairs. But Alex, dear, I still think of Gladys as my little sister, and I can't help but feel sort of responsible. Can't you just do this itsy-witsy favor for me and Johnny? Johnny? I've been thinking it'd be nice to have a boy after all. Well, if it means that much to you, then I'll have a talk with Bernard. Oh, darling, you're an angel. I'll leave you two alone, and I'll go try to comfort Gladys. Bernard? Bernard? Guy. Gladys, she's a pretty nice girl, isn't she? I guess so. You know she's pregnant? You must know your father. What? Yeah, we only found out about it tonight. Hey now, wait a car pick a minute, buddy. I don't even know the girl. I just showed up and placed the actor who never came. There's no way you can hit any of this on me. You do love her, don't you? Look, I just told you I never saw her before in my life. Now the important thing is, what are you going to do about it? About what? I have a wife and six kids at home. If any of this ever gets back to Lois, she'll kill me. I can't go through that kind of torture. Jesus Christ, you know she'll spank me? You know how violent that woman is? <laughs> what? And, and you mean, and I thought, oh boy, for a second there. Oh, okay. Sharon didn't want to tell me because she thought I would marry her out of sympathy or duty rather than love. <laughs> to this day, she doesn't suspect a thing. I proposed to her that night. Over 
McGregor will show the world that I can act. Tonight, a star is born! Bravo! 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 Bernie! Bernard? Alex said you wanted to see me. What is it? Oh, Sherry, how do I love thee? Oh, let me count the ways I love thee. This, I love thee. This, this is so sudden, Bernie. Are you sure you want to marry me? Well, I ain't a whistling Dixie, ma'am. Yes, of course I'll marry you. Oh, I'm so happy. I'll go tell Alex and turn the good news. Cut him off at the pass. All right, Pilgrim. When the nations attack, we're going to be ready for them, ain't we? Talking to you, mister. All right, mister, you're asking for it. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> what? No, no, I just, uh, I, I think I'm about to be shot. Congratulations. Why is this bold up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family, Bernie. I can't call you Bernie. Can't I? What is the happy occasion to be? To be or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. Whether it is... Wonderful, isn't it? Huh? Listen, let's call for again. I've got some bourbon in the kitchen. Let's make some drinks. Uh, no bluier than the slings of arrows. <laughs>
as a matter of fact. I am. Follow me then. I know where the kitchen is. Ha 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 ha.